What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Halcyon 6, which things are going pretty poorly right now. Like, I wish they were going a little bit better. I, I was excited until the Tier 3 fleet showed up, and then I was like, well, shit, I felt like I was winning until that happened. Now I feel very much like I'm losing. I don't feel like I'm winning anymore, and I like to feel like I'm winning. I'm the kind of person that very much enjoys winning. I love winning. Winning is the best. If you're not going to play to win, then why play? You know, like, you can play for fun, sure, but you can also play to win while playing for fun at the same time. I've never thought of the two as being mutually exclusive. I will probably harass you, since it seems like the best utilization of the abilities I have available. You go ahead and flat gun him until we get his health a little bit lower. Just try to slow him up with missiles again, but it didn't work. He's going to bowling ball us. Uh, I do like bowling. I was going to say I never much liked bowling, but actually I very much like bowling. Bowling is awesome. Bowling is a lot of fun. That was one of my dad was on the bowling team when I was a kid. I think like my generation, we were the last one to have like men's social clubs. They don't have those anymore. So like the Brotherhood of the Moose and like the, you know, eternal friendship or like the eternal kinship of the, oh, that sucks. Man, we really got to do something about this, don't we? Let's go ahead and stun one of these guys, I guess. I'll throw a heal on him before the turn goes up, and then he'll heal himself as well. Basically, we'll stack up as many nice little things right here as possible. Is it just me, or does the combat... It seems to be getting more hardcore, right? I feel like they're dropping bigger and bigger challenges on us as time goes along. We're like the little fleets that are spawning. They're getting slowly tougher. Slowly but surely tougher. Let's keep him hull breached up. I want his health to keep ticking, ticking, ticking towards that zero. Hey, we killed him. I actually wasn't going to hold my breath on that working, but then it did, and so my holding of the breath was validated. Depleting my oxygen supply was totally worth it, and when is it not? Let's keep firing. God, my phone has been blowing up all day. Everybody wants a piece of splatter today. Everybody needs his attention for something. I'm like, you ain't getting it. Ain't nobody getting nothing from splatter today. Go away! Splatter's not here right now. Stop looking behind the green curtain. Plata has work to do. He also has to lead the human race towards its inevitable destruction when that fleet arrives. Alright, we'll go ahead and drop that right there. Sounds good to me. Yep, almost there. Keep on working him. Oh, and Corbane Lau gets the final say. Well, Doom Cannon him on up, Chief. Doom Cannon him on up. No more attacks for you. That's just the way we're going to finish this off. Couple more materials, sounds good. I will take the dark matter back to fleet. They're about halfway here now, which is not a good sign. How far out did I have to send them? I had to send them over to there. Their HP is kind of dookie right now. But that's just one ship, like that's not that bad. So I think they should probably go over and handle that now before anything else goes wrong. I'm gonna send them over, they'll wipe that out. We've got plenty of dark matter, which is the thing that we need to make ships. So I'm not that terrified. We might be able to get two Tier 3 ships up and running by the time he gets here. And if we can get the Tier 3 running, that puts us at a very, very solid position to advance and try to finish off the map before things go any more wrong. Our health is super low right now, though, so we probably want to finish him off as quickly as possible. I'm going to keep that loaded to right there. Let's keep on cauterizing wounds. The amount that I heal is the amount that I don't have to pay for later. And given the sheer volume of damage we've been taking, I would just rather not mess with it. We can't use Doom Cannon again right now. I don't want to use Ramming Speed because if he gets himself set up with like one more tick of damage, it's going to be the worst thing that ever happened to us. So let's maybe just put dots on this guy. Dots and status effects as much as we can so that maybe we can get some evasion or something off. There, perfect. Everybody loves evasion. I'm beginning to think that a lot of the time you don't want to consume your buffs until you can, like, in one turn, one-shot somebody. It seems like the better plan to me. And I'll finish him off right there. Our ships will limp back to port. I don't think we got very many materials for this, but we got what we had to get, I guess. That puts us at 699. I would send somebody to there while we wait. I would also, basically, I need to bring back as many materials and as much dark matter as I can while we wait for this ship to be done. 
There was a kitty on the desk. There's a kitty on my desk on the left. It's the best. It's like one of that sounds like a country song. There's a kitty on the left, kitty on the right, like an old like Johnny Cash type song. I don't know. That's what I would set it to. That's just me. I wonder how often they're gonna send like these extermination fleets at us. Probably pretty frequently, right? So there's 136. Send a fleet to there to get the fuel. He might actually get here before we can finish two ships. We may just barely finish one. I don't know. And then you guys go pick that up. Basically just run around and go for right now because there ain't nothing else going on. Got that, 135. To that side, I will send the fleet back this way. Is that ship done or is it still being constructed? It's got one day left. Shit, we're gonna be cutting it real close. Maybe we let them bombard us for a little while and we just hope that it works out? I don't know. I... Don't know what to say right now. I, I really don't have any kind, loving words. The Conjurer would probably be a good call, so maybe I'll try that. He gets back, he might have enough materials on board to make it happen. I wish the level ups did a bit more. Like, the level ups do stuff, but I wish that the level ups also gave your ships, like, passive buffs and stuff like that. So as you level up, you had, like, a passive tree. Any ship that he's in gets X amount of extra, you know, HP and stuff like that. Just little things that you can fiddle with. I'll probably give him... Supercharged Polarity actually sounds pretty good. It, it seems like if you level it up, it could be kind of nasty. And I do like stacking debuffs, so maybe that's what I'll do. We got Dark Matter on board here. Let's send them on home. Okay, the Assassin Class Warship is ready for duty. Now what I need is more ship construction for the Conjurer. We need 2,700. We don't have nearly enough for that. We could try and get the Gallant then. But I might just be making it worse. We need more crew for the Gallant. Okay, did I get all the crew? How much crew did I pick up? You guys go out to there. I don't really care about the fuel usage. I don't think we're going to have enough time, though. Yeah, I think we might be totally hosed. It depends what they bring home right now, but... Nine days, we might... I don't know if that's a bombardment fleet or if we have to fight them the second they arrive or how that's going to go. So that only put me at... Jesus. Okay, so let's send a fleet over there. We'll launch. Um, launch anyways. Don't worry about repairing right now. I do need more crew. We'll send them back. And that should give us the 290. We need to get the Gallant up. Or the Gallant, however you want to say it. Got Mitsubishi on the brain right now. So that gets us into the Gallant. That gives us Brace, Vulnerable, Repair Drone, which is for an ally, actually. That's not bad. That'll take nine days. I do wish we could put somebody on that to help out with it. Although I might have just made a mistake. Our sensors have picked up another coral portal inside Federation borders, guarded by a strong fleet. Okay. Well, just give us some time, then. That's all you can do. Just give us some time. Oh, and they deployed close to... How long do we have on that? We have 30 days till that's an issue. How fast does our fleet repair when it's just, like, sitting there? Uh, repair all, sure, why not? I'm gonna try and grab a few more crew just in case they start bombarding us or whatever. So that we at least have a few HP to take the hit before things get any worse. Return home. Uh. Oh good, the Gallant got here. So we've got two tier three ships. We might be able to pull this together. We might be able to. So let's get the big guys out here. Unfortunately, I gotta bring out the big guns right now. Let's assign an officer. We'll put Zulf Maddox on that enormous telescope looking, halo gun looking thing. And then we will assign Corvain Lau to that one. We have two 
tier 3 ships. Their HP is not... I'm really kind of disappointed with the amount of HP we have on some of these ships. I really expected it to be higher, considering the enemy has like 3,000, 4,000 HP. He's got 21,000, but I still don't know if it's going to be enough. Can I do anything with the tier 3 hangar right now? 50 days to do some upgrades. We can do a scrapper upgrade, which means we get better... Okay, we can do some stuff, but that'll take 50 days, and it requires an officer, which we don't have at the moment. A 10% hull increase would be nice. An extra 130 HP was never something that I would balk away from, but I don't know. Here we go. With uh, this being kind of a blind playthrough, I can't imagine how I could have done anything any differently. I mean, I know what I would do now. I would definitely rush technology a lot faster. However, from where we're sitting, it is what it is, I guess. It is what it... Oh, wow, that portal sent his shit everywhere. Central fleet is at bombardments, and the position is made up of a single massive vessel. Five supporting fleets are providing a layer of protection for the central fleet. Our science team has hypothesized that the supporting fleet stand the super vessel bombarding us will be functionally invulnerable to our attacks. Isn't that thematically relevant? Ooh. That actually puts us in a bit of a compromising position, doesn't it? Send the flabby hab lovers over there to go get us more crew. And with bombardment happening... Oh, we were defeated. That's unfortunate. Being defeated is always unfortunate, unless it's something that doesn't really matter. But in the case of the extermination of the human race, it does totally matter. So I went back and I tried to reload a save from before. I, I think the blunder that I made. The blunder that I made is I spent all of my population trying to build ships before that thing arrived, thinking that I was going to have to fight it right when it got there. Instead, the event that happened when it split into a bunch of different ships and you got to kill all of those before you can kill the main ship means it necessitates that you have to have a certain amount of population on board in order to take the bombardment. Basically, they force you to be bombarded for a while. And there's nothing you could do about that. The footage you're seeing right now is actually, I tried to reload and do it better, but unfortunately, the autosave overrode itself from before when I built the ships. And so that left me in a little bit of a compromising position where there's nothing really for me to restore or go back to. We've just got to swallow the bitter pill of the fact that we exterminated the human race on accident by making the wrong managerial call. I would have liked it a little bit better if we had at least gotten a shot to fight that thing when it arrived. You know, like one last ditch effort to save everything. And I don't like abrupt endings like that. It very much felt more brief than it should have been. Like, if this is the end of the game, when you end the game in XCOM, it's usually because of a long slog that you've been slowly losing. Whereas in this game, it feels like we were winning, 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 and then all of a sudden we hit like a brick wall, and that was it. And now that I know about that brick wall, I can plan for it the next time I play through. But I'm not so sure that the difficulty curve should spike like that within so short of an amount of time. It's unfortunate. I'm not, like, salty or anything about it. But my name is Splattercat. Unfortunately, we weren't able to finish up Halcyon. That's going to be the end of our playthrough. It would take me seven or eight hours of playing the game to get back to where we were. And so I guess that's just going to be where we stop. Let that be a lesson to you. Splattercat should never be the guy tasked with protecting humanity. Apparently, I'm going to make the wrong call, and that's going to be that. I'll see you all in whatever comes next. I do, everybody.